Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila Tournament Match cast. It's going to be Championship of Russia Group Stage 1. Uh, group... Which group was I in? I guess Group 1. And uh, I'm playing against Enron Smith of USSR in this match. Uh, and in the first game, I'm the Danes and he is the Elements. So uh, we'll see how this one is going to play out. I'm going to hit slow motion soon there we go as you can see I've deployed on my far left flank and now let's go over my composition I have the Nordic raid leader general with brace uh, then I have the general well not the general but the usual six Nordic horse lords that I pretty much bring all the time uh, as the Danes then I have a lot of these axe warriors five Nordic axe warriors and I have two chosen warriors up front you can also see that I have six of these Nordic hurlers. And now for uh, for Elrond Smith who is playing as the elements, he has his uh, Germanic Noble General, Bronze 2 with Rally. And then he has, looks like, three Noble Germanic Horsemen, Bronze 1 on the left, three Noble Germanic Horsemen, Bronze 1 on the right. Up front we see these four Germanic Archers, supported by two Germanic Pikes. In terms of infantry contingent, well let's see what he has. He has a bunch of these Protectoris Defectors, I believe, how many? One, two, three, four, five Bronze 1 Protectoris Defectors and one Bejeweled Noble Bronze 1 on each flank, it seems. So that would be the builds. Let's see how the battle actually plays out. And as you can see, I have, I have more skirmishers than him, but he has superior range. In terms of infantry, well, my axes will do quite well in melee, but... Uh, and so will my chosen warriors, so I think I have a decent infantry advantage against them. Cavalry is uh, quite on par, I guess. Very similar. Now I'm trying to get my uh, Nordic Hurlers in, and hopefully... I guess I'm actually wasting his volleys. <laughs> That's what it uh, looks like. Here he has the slow Germanic Horseman, so I move on a, bit, a little bit on my right because I notice these units. And I'm still getting my hurlers shot, but at this point it's very fine for me because he's wasting a lot of his Germanic archer's ammo just to kill a single Nordic hurler. And it looks like at this point I decide, okay, let's just go in. Whatever. Now I'm going to use the hurlers, targeting his archers. And it looks like here comes at a, an engagement soon enough. He's trying to go for my skirmishers, but I slow them down. And as you can see now, I'm targeting this one. Here I make a, an actual mistake though. This is pretty bad by me. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be able to target this unit down, but I guess I don't really hit it, so I don't slow it down. Uh, but I do some damage to it. Looks like it is gonna get caught here, which is very nice for me, but I don't have axe units going in. Uh, looks like on my left flank I'm losing a lot of my hurlers without doing too much damage. And here I come in with the cavalry. Uh, I'm gonna get a pretty good charge off on his noble Germanic horseman. Same thing here as for my right flank. There's an engagement over here, uh, I got this Nordic Horse Lord out and engaged this one instead, so this Noble Germanic Horseman should die soon. Also going to start sending everything to my left flank, I'm sending in the axes here. This Noble Germanic Horseman is dead, uh, this uh, Noble Germanic Horseman is going to die soon when my no Nordic Axe Warriors want to come into the fray. This Pike unit is here though, which is kind of annoying for me, but as you know, Pikes don't really support very well fights. So here the hurlers, uh, they're stopping his cav, which is nice for me. I'm going to be able to get my horse lords here into his cav. I'm going to do the same thing here, and I have axe support, whereas his infantry support is just Protectoris Defectors, or... Uh, I mean, he doesn't have shock infantry support. And as you can see here, I'm just going to go through this unit, and I'm going to get through, and then I'll be able to start flanking his uh, right flank. Here, though, this Nordic horse lord is in some trouble because he has Protectoris Defectors coming in. Though I'm gonna kill off this Noble Germanic Horseman insanely fast with all the units that I have against it over here. And as you can see here, I've broken through on my left flank, going through with all these axes. I still have axes to support. Looks like I'm gonna go for a cav charge here and an air throw, but finally a real throw into his units. But he has so many arrows that are going in here. This Protectorist Defector looks like it's gonna get charged by Horse Lords and I even make it into some of the archers, but on my right flank, as you can see, I'm also pushing through. I've got this axe unit, which is doing very well. It killed the Noble Germanic Horseman, now engaged with Protectorist Defectors. Should kill it fairly nicely, as you can see, killing it very fast. Actually, now I can pull out with this Horse Lord. 
I've broken through on my right here. Uh, this axe unit not looking in great shape. Looks like the Bejewel Noble actually killed it off. But the Bejewel Noble is very expensive. I've still got this axe unit uh, flanking this Bejewel Noble. So this unit's going to go down soon. I'm, I'm pushing through on my right flank. I'm also going to get in this Horse Lord into the rear of this Bejewel Noble. And going to do some damage to the Noble Germanic Horseman too. I get my uh, Cav here into the Proctorist Defectors. But that's a really bad move by me actually. Because that unit's just not really going to take any damage from my uh, Nordic Horse Lord, unless it was uh, not braced, and as you can see it was braced here. And he's, he's supporting very well with Germanic Pikes here though, which is a problem for me. I'm also charging in Axes straight into Pikes, which is basically what he wants me to do, I guess. So this is a really bad move by me, actually. I'm gonna lose a lot of the Axes here to uh, this combination of Pikes and Proctorus Defectors. But I'm gonna be able to get another Nordic Horse Lord in here, I'm still flanking his Bejewel Nobles here, I'm going to get a, uh, an infantry charge off, an axe charge off into the Bejewel Nobles. Going to push through with Chosen Warriors in Shield Wall as well into his units. Going to start flanking around here, Chosen Warriors moving in Shield Wall against Projectors Defectors in Shield Wall. So this engagement should actually be won by me. Uh, I'm going to be able to keep pushing through. Here this, uh, my raid leader is in a lot of trouble here as he's getting focused down. Though I'm fighting his Germanic Nobles, which my Raid Leader should win, and I'm actually losing on my left flank, going to activate Frenzy here. Going for his Archers though, because as you can see, I won on my right flank, and now I have a lot of Cav units free. I'm gonna go for all his Archers, he still has this Proctorist Defectors though. And now my Chosen Warriors in the center, crushing through these Proctorist Defectors here very, very easily. I've got Axe units to support, I think I'm gonna try and go for a rear charge onto his General soon. Here I rear charge his Proctorist Defectors, doing a lot of damage. Uh, here I am killing his Bejeweled Nobles as well. This unit's basically surrounded, so it will do very horribly against my units. Now his uh, Germanic Noble is surrounded. This Proctorist Defector is going to die soon. And here comes his Germanic Noble. It's now... It is braced, but that's all that's good about it. I mean, it doesn't really have any good stats. Looks, looks like it is... Uh, his General did die at the end of the day here and this should cause a chain route of his forces soon enough uh, but as you can see on my right flank there is uh, no problem whatsoever here just mopping up these bejeweled over here as you can see the Proctorus defector is still engaging my horse lords and uh, but I have a lot of cav units coming in here and looks like that is going to indeed be game number one uh, so my Chosen Warriors did extremely well in this fight and the Axes got a lot of kills, a lot of efficient kills actually. Horse Lords did okay. Now for the Alamans, obviously his Product Lords Defector is pretty much wasted and Vigil didn't do well either. And his Pikes did fairly well though. But that is about it for his army. Anyway, that is game, so uh, see you in game number two. This is game two of the match. And I'm playing as the Vandals and uh, he is... The Yeats. We'll see how this one is going to uh, play out. Because, uh, I mean, uh, Vandals versus Yeats, both of the factions can win, but the thing about the Vandals in uh, this tournament is that you are not allowed to bring Noble Lani Cav, something to definitely keep in mind which actually makes them a lot weaker. But anyway, let's go over the build that I've brought here. Germanic Nobles General with Brace, Bronze 1. Then I have, looks like two Noble Germanic Horsemen on the right, one in the center, and then three Noble Germanic Horsemen on the left flank. And in terms of Skirmishers, I have three Germanic Archers in the center, supported by a Germanic Hurler on each of the flanks. Three of these Vandal Berserkers on the right, three Vandal Berserkers on the left. That is my composition. Let's go for El Elrond Smith's army as uh, the Geats. Nordic Raid Leader Bronze 1 with Rally. Uh, then we see that he has, let's see, three Nordic Horse Lords on the left, Bronze 1. Three Nordic Horse Lords on the right, Bronze 1. And up front, a lot of these hurlers. Looks like five Nordic hurlers in total and as for his uh, infantry contingent in the center two herdman bronze one on the left three nordic axe warriors bronze one and on the right three nordic axe warriors bronze one so this is a very nice uh, infantry contingent for the geats here let's see how the game is going to actually play out though 
I do actually have two Germanic pikes, uh, which I didn't know, uh, notice, I guess. And as you can see, I'm trying to go for a push on my left with this extra Vandal Berserker that I've brought here. Uh, we'll see if it's going to be effective or not for me. So here, I'm going to start skirmishing, which is uh, going to be pretty nice for me because he moves in first. I activate precision shot and it looks like I'm gonna be able to get in with the cab for free into his further. So at this point I'm like, oh, this is very nice for me. Now I'm going to pull out without taking any damage. Looks like he does actually shoot the rear of my noble Germanic horseman. Which means they take some damage and here he is gonna pull back because he doesn't want to go too far ahead. I am targeting his noble Nordic horse lord as he pulls back though, and he's targeting my noble Germanic horseman, so we're both taking losses on our cab right now. As you can see, the flaming shot doing pretty well against his horse lords, but the noble Germanic horseman taking a lot more damage from his hurlers, as you can see here, definitely. I mean, I am not really killing his horse lords, whereas he's killing my noble Germanic horseman. Anyway, over here, I'm gonna go push forward again with the noble Germanic horseman, targeting his hurlers, and he's now targeting my archers. And as you can see here, I'm gonna get into his hurlers, but no. Looks like he's going to target this Noble Germanic Horseman again, and look at how quickly my Noble Germanic Horseman drops to these Hurlers. And yes, I'm targeting his Horse Lords, but they're not dying as quickly to my Flaming Arrows, uh, as you can actually see here. And I'm still shooting at them, even the rear, but they're not really falling very quickly. This unit hasn't lost anything, this hasn't lost anything, whereas I've lost half my Noble Germanic Horseman over there. So this is a really bad engagement for me, actually. Uh, but now I'm targeting with my Germanic Hurlers, his Hurlers, but so far I don't really like the engagement uh, for me because I haven't really killed any of his Horse Lords, whereas he's killed a lot of my Germanic Horsemen, half a unit, which is basically massive. So here more precision shot activated by me, looks like I'm going to start targeting that Horse Lord again. I'm going to do more damage to it, actually it's down to, well it's not really losing anything though, despite me focusing it. Here it looks like I'm going to be able to get this Nordic Hurler for free. And uh, I'm doing a lot of friendly fire damage though to myself. That is pretty annoying. He is going to push my left though. And I should have actually pulled back and reformed uh, and made a line over here on my right. Whereas it uh, looks like I'm, I refuse to pull back. No, actually I am pulling back, but I think I'm pulling back a little bit too slowly. Got my pikes in the center. The engagement is going to start here, but I'm making a decent amount of mistakes though with my horses. Here I don't get a charge off, and he does. Well, not a proper charge, but I do have Banner Berserkers coming in much quicker for me with the rapid advance as well. Looks like he does connect with my Banner Berserkers somehow, even though I have Noble Germanic Horsemen here, and he kills a lot on the charge over there, like 30. Here it looks like I'm gonna be able to stop the charges of his Horse Lords. Mine and I'm gonna be able to move in with Vandal Berserkers, but he has three axes here which he can send into support. As you can see over here now, he's sending his axe warriors. Yes, I'm going to disengage with my calf, but uh, how exactly am, am I gonna be able to do this? I need to go around and not this angle. This angle is pretty bad for me with my horses, but my right is just, I mean, it's looking great right now, right? Well, it's not really great because he's got the axes coming in and this bike unit being doing so well for me right now it stopped his horse lord here in its tracks very nicely done by it actually that it stopped that horse lord and is doing some kills that it's buying me a lot of precious time but as you can see my left flank is falling even though i got the infantry in first the thing is that okay never mind i'm actually breaking through very quickly because i do have the extra cab which is, allows me to uh, rear charge him and i guess that's the big difference here I still have my Germanic Noble here, which I'm going to use to support, and I have to stop this unit. But as you can see, I'm just going for a huge, massive chain route on his uh, right flank, actually, as you can see here. And I don't know why the balance of power is looking like this, because I've just broken through a lot of his units here. And again, I'm going to do the same. I'm rear charging this axe where I've got a lot of units that are breaking through his left. And I'm holding on my right fairly well, actually. My center is not looking great, though, and I, he still has some herdmen. But his units are coming back here, and unfortunately for me, these two horse lords will be very annoying. And I have to kite back in the center against this axe warrior, and as you can see, my right flank is not looking great. Tried to disengage here, but I couldn't. Uh, but the men have gone berserk. This unit has not gone berserk, though, unfortunately for me. Uh, but these units, the ones that I didn't want to go berserk, actually did go berserk. Here I'm in his hurlers, but my unit's not looking great. I'm gonna be able to route these horse lords off once and for all, but they're really slowing me down. 
It's Phantom Berserker. I don't know what it's doing here because it's doing weird things. I'm going to be able to engage his Horse Lord here, but he still has more Horse Lords. I'm kiting back with my General, but his Nordic Axe Warriors looks like they got charge speed, so they're going to be able to connect with my Germanic Nobles soon. And at this point, the game is not really looking in my favor. I'm going to disengage with the Horsemen, but looks like now they're going to get caught, so that's bad for me. My General's still getting chased off the field by the Axe Warriors, and... Uh, Yes, he's dying very, very quickly to this Nordic Axe Warrior, even though I'm focusing it. I mean, I'm killing some of the Axes, but he's killing my uh, Germanic Nobles unit very quickly, because I unfortunately don't have any camp to rear charge this Axe unit. Now though, he, I'm still, I'm going to engage in this massive blob, which I think is going to be okay for me. Uh, this massive blob, because I have to start it though. And here's the problem for me, my general died. So, uh, now my units will just chain right off the field, he still has his... General left on the field. I don't have the best charge here against this general, I think. Actually, I guess I do, but the thing is that my units will start wavering and routing any time now. And his herdmen are training so well against Mano Berserkers from the front, actually, as you can see here, just demolishing them. I should have flanked these units, and uh, but yeah, at this point, it is basically over. He's got a lot of his units on the field, and my Vandal Berserkers, as you can see, they don't want to fight anymore, so they're just wavering and they're routing off the field. So that is game, it's going to be 1-1, one, one. as you can see, the Battle Berserkers here doing a good job for me, some of them, but others just dying, even the Pikes, both 57 kills, wow. Uh, but the thing is, I lost the Noble Germanic Horseman, like half the unit, just due to his hurlers, which was a massive, massive problem for me, actually. But anyway, that is game 2, it is 1-1 one, one at this point, and I should see you in game 3. This is game 3 of the match. I am playing as the Geats this time around, and he is, uh, well, Elrond Smith is playing as the Eastern Roman Empire. Interesting matchup, I suppose. Eastern Romans can do quite well against the Geats. Uh, with their Heterias, they're pretty insane units. Uh, but anyway. Uh, let's go over the composition. Time for uh, slow motion. and Let's see. I have my usual Nordic Raid Leader uh, with Brace. Then I have a bunch of these Nordic Horse Lords, as usual, six of them. I have two Chosen Warriors on the right flank, and it seems like I have six Nordic Hurlers. Uh, indeed, I do. Well, I actually have five Nordic Axe Warriors, not six, my bad. As for uh, Elrond Smith, for his Eastern Romans, he has, let's see, Palatina Guards, Bronze 1 Gen with Rally. Then he has three of these Tegmata Cav on the left, three Tegmata Cav on the right. Up front we see, looks like, four Fundatores, and uh, supported by two Metalauro, those are Pikes. On his left we see a Protectoris Domestici Bronze 1, on his right basically the same thing. As for his center, two Numeroi Bronze 1, supported by two Heterea guards. Now let's fast forward and watch this battle start. Because uh, I think basically he's gonna have a pretty hard time against my axes. I have a lot more axes than he does and my chosen warriors will trade well against everything he does besides he has besides the Hetereas. So I think and I also have a distinct skirmish advantage, six hurdlers against four Funditores. And my cavalry is also better, six horse lords against uh, six stigmatas I think so uh, this is gonna be a pretty good trade for me and as you can see I'm pushing very quickly on my right flank and I think I'm going to be able to pull back here and attack like this that's exactly what I'm going for I'm rotating my right I'm going for a huge push here and as you can see I'm already starting the engagement looks like I'm gonna be able to get into his heterias here this could be a massive charge uh, he's actually gonna knock down some of his own heterea unit but I'm still going to be able to get into his Hetereas, as you can see here. That charge is massive into the Hetereas. And now, as you can see, I'm still pulling back my right flank. Not pulling back the Chosen Warriors, though. That's a mistake by me. But I'm going to get in here with all the extra Axe units that I have. Two Axes here against this Thugmata and Protoros Domestici. Definitely going to go in favor of me. I've got this Axe unit coming in for this fight as well. Horse Lords breaking the Funitoris and doing a lot of damage to the Hetereas. Also throwing some jabs with these Axe Warriors. and going to get into his Cav here and into the Hetereia, so this, the trade on my left flank gonna go definitely in my favor, as I'm getting rid of the Stigmata, 
And now I'm going to disengage here with the Horse Sword and stop the Stigmata from flanking me. And I'm going to keep pulling back my right flank as I engage on the left here. I've got this Horse Sword, which I have now activated Headhunt with, so that it's unbreakable. And I'm holding off his Hitreas, killing these units here. I've broken through my left. I'm going to continue pushing. One Axe unit going to support this fight. One Axe unit going to help here. And I'm still pushing on my left. I've got these two Horse Swords in case I need to send them. This is going to be a very nice Scav Charge onto his Protectorist and Tagmana here. That's going to route them off the field. Thing is, my Axe Warrior here has not done very well in this fight. As it has killed some men, but it's basically dead right now. Now he's sending in more units to support. I've got these Horse Swords that I'm going to send for his Skirmishers. And I've got extra Horse Lords here. Uh, which, as you can see, they're actually targeting the Mandalore and getting some kills, but... It's not the most effective trade for them. Here I'm going to be able to charge with this 32-man uh, Horse Lord. Uh, and I'm engaging his Stigmatas here, which are unsupported, actually. So this is pretty big. I'm going to send in a Horse Lord around because I see he's sending a Cav unit around. So I'm trying to mirror him. Here I get into his Numeroi, and this allows my Axe Warriors to come in and support. He does have this Stigmata, though, which could charge into my Axes and do a lot of damage. I do have my Nordic Raid Leader here, though, and I have activated Brace to help against this Cav. Here I'm going to engage his Tagmaras, and they're not going to like this engagement. And I, as you can see, I'm still pulling back my uh, right flank. I am engaging here, which is a little bit weird, and I'm not able to kill this unit very fast, uh, which is sad for me. But I'm going to engage my general here, which uh, is actually not the worst idea, because uh, there's not a lot of units that can kill it over here. I'm going to pull out this Nordic Horse Lord it is, as it is supported by Axis, so his Tagmata is not uh, going to be able to chase it down and kill it. Now I'm sending around this Horse Lord, going to go for that Tagmata Cavalry and kill it. I'm going to pull out with this Horse Lord after killing the Fulnitores. Looks like I'm going to lose a couple of men here though. And I'm going to push in with Chosen Warriors into the rear of these Menelaurae. And there are just so few Menelaurae at this point that it doesn't really matter. It uh, looks like I'm just going to be able to throw my Javs into the Menelaurae and kill them. Or I'm actually going to charge into them. This is going to be a brilliant calf charge into the rear of, of his Heterea and his Tegmata Cavalry. Here, this is a very nice calf charge by him into the rear of these axes. So it might actually just knock these axes off the, off the field, uh, which is very good for him. But here I'm going to do the same thing once more, rear charging the Numeroi and the Heterea guards. As you can see, my Hurler is starting to target his Funitoris, but I've got a lot of Chosen Warriors on the field and these axes doing well. Uh, his Heterea is not in the best shape, though I'm actually losing on my left flank because the Tagmatas killed off that Axe Warrior. Going to disengage here with this Horse Lord, and my General is going to definitely kill his Palatina Guards General. Also have the Chosen Warriors in the fight here, and he has some of his Numeroi. Numeroi going to try to engage my unit here, so I'm going to send these Chosen Warriors in, and they deliver a point-blank Javelin throw, it seems. Chosen Warriors, you're going to do pretty well against the Numero, actually. They're going to be able to beat them. So now I'm going to disengage this Horse Lord against the Heterea, and I'm going to be able to rear charge this Heterea soon enough. I'm also sending in all these units on my left flank. Chosen Warriors supporting this fight, and now it's gonna, that Tagmata is going to route off the field. Uh, this spike unit for him is being wasted right now. It's not really being able to do anything, and I'm just going to be able to hold it down with this Hurdler. Also got the more Hurdlers on the field. I'm going to, after charging this Heterea, I'm going to disengage and then go straight for his hurlers, his Funditoris actually. Here he still has this Proctoris Domestici holding very well against all these units, but I'm soon going to be able to rear charge them and uh, make sure that they're not going to be on the field for much longer. As you can see, his Palatino Guards are falling rapidly to my Nordic Raid Leaders. The Nordic Raid Leader is much better in melee than Palatino Guards. And let's, let's just zoom in here. As you can see, the Palatino Guards uh, are not looking great at all. They're being chopped down rapidly by my Nordic Raid Leader. There they go, Palatino Guards routed off the field. This Horse Lord destroying the Funditoris. And I'm gonna be able to, I guess I'm recharging here, not even using my uh, ammunition on the Hurlers. Just to make sure I chain route this whole part of the army. And now all these arrows, well, not arrows, but more like slinger shots going into these um, and a lot of routing them off the field and that is game so I guess I went 2-1 against the Elrond Smith here as you can see the horse lord is doing a lot of damage to his axes and some of my axes doing pretty well chosen so well one of them not doing great but my raid leader wow look at the kills on it as for Elrond Smith as you can see only two heterias and they didn't really do well because they got destroyed by my cavalry and I had to knock them off the field as for his Protectorist and Numeroi, they didn't do very well here. 
And his Tagmanas though, uh, they were, uh, they did better than I expected. But anyway, that is game and match. So hope you all enjoy. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment or subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video and I'll see you next time.